This is a model of an animal cell. As we've said before, models sometimes have disadvantages. The disadvantage to this animal cell model is that not all animal cells are circular. They have many, many different shapes depending on what they need to do. Let's go into this model and see some of its parts that let it live. The nucleus, as you see right here, is circular and in the inside of the cell. It's like the brain of the cell, many people say, or the book of life. Inside of it are all of the instructions for how a cell or a living thing should be organized and how it should function, what it should do. These long strings that you see here are DNA. You see protein going along and copying the DNA so that the cell knows what to do. If you only have one book telling you what you need, you don't want to loan that book out or you might lose it or not have the instructions to continue. So this is the same thought for the cell. It has an encapsulated or a special part that has a kind of skin nuclear membrane around it with holes that holds all the information so it's not lost. This little bits of messages being copied then slip out through the holes to the rest of the cell to tell it what to do. Animal cells are not the only ones that hold a nucleus. Plant cells and plants also need to have directions on how to function. So as you see on the screen here, we have a nucleus as well. This nucleus holds the information, the book of life, that DNA to direct all of the other pieces of the cell in a plant cell as well as an animal cell and what they need to do.